Hi girls, it's Joni. Today we're going to be talking about rot and mold. So, let's talk about rot first. Rotting is the process a plant or animal does to decay due to bacteria or fungi breaking it down. The nutrients in the plants and animals are broken down into the earth and create soil for new things to be grown on. Composting is a very good way to use the rotting process to break down your food scraps. So this is the rotting cycle. This is just one life cycle that you could think of. There's many other ways that you could use the rotting cycle. So a plant grows, and then a caterpillar eats the plant, and then the bird eats the caterpillar, the bird dies, and bacteria decomposes the bird into nutrients, and then the plant is able to grow again, and it continues in this ongoing cycle. Just going around and around. It's like a circle of life, kind of, if that made sense. But, so the plant grows, the caterpillar eats the plant, the bird eats the caterpillar, the bird dies, the bacteria decomposes the bird into nutrients, the plant grows, on and on and on and on. And that's basically how all the plants keep growing and everyone keeps getting the food that they need to eat. So there's some more things that can rot, like milk, berries, vegetables, basically any food item can rot. It just matters how much time it takes because milk might take less time than maybe something that you can leave in your pantry for a while, like pasta. What is mold? Mold is a type of fungus that grows in and on substances. There are many types of mold and some can be very dangerous and really bad if they get into your house. Here are two of the most common types of mold that you will see. Black mold is very bad because it, if it infests your house, it can cause coughing, rashes, eye irritations, and it's very hard to get rid of. Now, there's another kind of mold called food mold, and this is the kind of mold that forms on, let's say, a piece of bread if it's left in a warm place for too long. It's not really that harmful unless you're allergic to it. My sister and my mom are allergic to mold, um, so that's why we try to make sure that the bread doesn't stay out for too long. Um, it's not really that harmful, it's just kind of gross. So we're going to do a quick activity with mold. So I need everyone to go get two pieces of bread, a bit of water, and two Ziploc bags. So we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of water on the two slices of bread, but not too much. They should just be like sort of damp to the touch, not like soaking up all the water and like breaking apart. So you're going to put one slice in each Ziploc bag. And you're, you're going to put one of them in the sunlight. So like in a windowsill, like in your kitchen, somewhere over somewhere where there's a lot of sunlight and then somewhere where it's super dark. So maybe in like a pantry or in your desk or something like that. And so we're going to check back on them in a week to see if any mold has grown. 